What's up everyone, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to cover Shopify blogs. We're first going to go over why you need one then how to actually add one to your Shopify store. But before we get into it, I just want to quickly thank our sponsor. Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. First off, let's cover why you need a blog on your Shopify store. The first reason is that it allows you to develop your brand. Blogging gives you the opportunity to connect with your audience and give them a sense of who you are, what you stand for, where you're going and how you intend to get there. It really allows you to build your presence online giving you that authority to your brand and to your products. The second way is that it's a good and free, easy way to get traffic. By posting blog posts, it allows your Shopify store to appear in the search results when people are Googling terms in relation to your products. For example, if your store sold barbecues, you could have blog posts detailing how to actually use your barbecue, how to clean your barbecue, how to make that best meal in your barbecue, and all these posts come together to allow people to discover your brand online through your blog posts, and then they can discover actually how to use your products, then you can link your products in your posts so customers can go from knowing how to do something to then buying that product on your Shopify store. The third reason is that it allows you to establish your authority and establish yourself as a brand expert with that product or that niche. Customers will trust you more as you have a lot of knowledge on how to actually use the product, and it really backs up your authority by showing customers that you're an expert on it. You understand how it works, how to maintain it, and how to use it to its best ability. For example, if I had a Shopify store selling microphones or podcasting equipment or something along those lines, and I had a lot of content explaining how to run your podcast, how to set up your audio, it would really establish my authority over that niche. And for customers, it will increase the trust in your brand because they'll think if this company has a really good understanding of how to do this, they're giving me all these tips, their products must back that up. This will also increase trust, which will further increase people's potential to buy your products. The fourth reason is that it boosts your conversion rates. Your blog will make you feel more credible and relatable, which will provide new clients with a greater sense of confidence in their purchases. And as you know, increasing your conversion rate overall will be a huge boost to your Shopify store, as you won't need to get as many customers to your website to sell the same number of products. Now that we've gone over why a Shopify blog is important, let's move on to how you can actually add one to your Shopify store. Overall, it's quite simple as most things are in the Shopify dashboard. And so from your homepage, you wanna to go to online store. Then from there, you wanna click on blog posts. Then once you're on blog posts, you can easily create a new blog post by clicking the create blog post button. Once you're in the blog post menu, you can do several things such as adding the title, this main section here is for adding your blog post itself. I would recommend writing your blog post in a different software like Word as if there's an issue with the Shopify section here and somehow it doesn't save, you could lose all your work. It also allows for easier formatting and revision as you have to scroll up and down through this doc when the document gets longer. So to start, let's create a test blog post. The title here, I'm just gonna name random blog post. And then from here, I'm gonna copy some default text that's just gonna fill up my blog post. I'm gonna copy this first paragraph here, paste it in here. I'm also gonna add an image here. I can show you how to do that. You just go here, you're gonna click insert image at the top. Then once you click insert image, I'm gonna upload a file. I've downloaded this random hiking photo here because maybe I have a nature website or an outdoor website and they sell a lot of hiking related products. Once it uploads here, I'm gonna add the alt text. So this alt text is what's gonna show up if your image can't load. It's also gonna be what describes the image. So Google has an easier time indexing this content. I'm gonna put hiking image here just for simplicity. I'm gonna leave it as medium just so it's not overwhelming in the page. I'm gonna click insert image. So that's how you add an image to your blog post. You can also do things like centering it. So if I go click up here to alignment, center align, it's gonna appear in the center of my blog post rather than align to the left. There's also the ability to add a feature image which will show up if you were to link your blog post anywhere else on your Shopify site, this would be the image that loads along with your content. The expert here is a summary of the post, how it appears on your Shopify site. So if you were to link your blog post to your homepage or something similar, this is the expert that will show up. I'm just gonna put hiking blog post. At the bottom is your SEO. So this is what shows up in the actual Google search results when someone searches for your product. And instead of having the default text here for my blog post, I might wanna make it more concise, add some more characters here saying hiking blog post nature 
or maybe it's how to go hiking. In your description, you can also edit something more detailed as well. You can also edit the URL and how that will show up in Google. There's also more customization here on the right in terms of who authored it, what section is going to go on your Shopify site, also tags to help organize your content, especially as your blog grows. Then on top right here is the final step in determining when it's visible. You can set to visible now, or you can add a visibility date. So let's say you post blog posts every Tuesday at 2 p.m. You could select that option here. I'm going to put visible now so we can view that quickly. And once you're done, you just click save. To view the blog post, I'm just going to click view on online store. And there's the blog post. Easily shows up on your Shopify store and the URLs are taken care of. And it's really easy to add more content as your blog grows. The next issue here is once you have blog posts uploaded to your site, how do you actually add it to your navigation menu on top? What you do is you go to back to your online Shopify store. You want to click on navigation. And once you're in navigation, you want to click on the menu. So at the top, I have the main menu. Once you're in main menu, you want to click add item. I'm going to put blog as a generic title, and I'm going to search for blog here. So I had my post here. You can probably add a collection as well as things go along for your blog post. I'm just going to click add, save, and then it should now show up on my Shopify site. As you can see now, there it is in the top, leading to my blog post here. I might want to create a collection of overall blog posts as I only have one, but this will come in time as you start to build up your Shopify blog posts. In conclusion, this is why you should create a Shopify blog and how to actually create blog posts and add them to your Shopify website. Overall, it's a very easy process and it's very effective and it's really going to increase your conversion rates. It's going to bring more traffic to your website and it's going to add more authority to your brand if you start blogging about your niche. If you enjoyed this video, i love if you could leave a like below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.